Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a one storyline reading for you based on where your person stands right now when it comes to you. Um, if you've been following me for a while, then you know that my readings tend to be very long as I give many examples and possibilities based on placements and card combinations as I'm reading for thousands of people who watch my videos, whether they're single or coupled up or estranged from their partner. So I've already done those readings for you and what I'd like to try to do is just take the very first and primary storyline that comes uh, from the card placements and go from there. Keep it short and sweet and to the point. It's not gonna resonate for all of you. There's a lot more possibilities in terms of meanings of the cards that are always going to be there. But in this particular reading, I'm just gonna take the top storyline. So if this doesn't resonate for you, then check back in the future for a reading that does, all right? Angels and guides, please tell Virgos watching this reading, uh, you know, where their person is coming from, where their person stands, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, where they're at in their mind, their heart, and their soul. And just give us the top storyline, single storyline, quick and easy for Virgos, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, all right? One more quick shuffle, we'll split the deck. Here we go. Okay, Virgo, the overall energy between you and your person is the Empress. How you see them is the Three of Cups. How they see you is the Four of Swords. The shadow side of this situation is the King of Cups and the outcome between you is the Queen of Swords. Where they're at in their mind when it comes to you is the Three of Swords. In their heart is the King of Swords. And in their soul is the Two of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. So something definitely happened in the past between you and this person. This is a card that always talks about lying, cheating, stealing, you know, up and leaving in the middle of the night, ghosting. Somebody who's not reliable, um, just very sneaky and uh, manipulative, um, a player kind of energy. This can also mean maybe on the lighter side of this card that something was stolen from you or between you. It doesn't have to mean be an actual physical tangible you know, item. It could just be the relationship was stolen, a promise was stolen, something that you thought was going to happen or a dream or an expectation uh, you know, got stolen um, from this relationship. You know, maybe you guys were gonna go somewhere, do something, and it didn't happen. I mean, even just something as simple as that, you know, the opportunity or the uh, experience itself was stolen, okay? Because somebody didn't follow through or somebody bowed out or something along those lines. This can indicate that an, um, an apology is due and or one is coming in, but this can also indicate that the person who needs to give an apology is too much of a, too much of a coward to give it. Okay, so that's really interesting. A lot of mental conflict here is this is the swords uh, energy, you know, which is all about intellect and mental um, concepts and stimulation and also difficult communication. So this was going on in the past, the Hierophant, ooh. So either somebody that, somebody, okay, either somebody is a commitment phobe or this is a spiritual path that, that somebody is denying and or um, trying to run from a spiritual path, a spiritual commitment, um, a soul contract between the two of you, etc. But again, this can also mean commitment foe because the Hierophant is all about not only the spiritual path and arena, but a faith and a commitment marriage within the church. So some of you are definitely dealing with somebody who is scared of commitment or long-term relationships. Um, but again, you know, that also goes hand in hand with soul contracts. If you are, you know, in a connection with somebody where you feel that you are destined to have uh, some type of experience with them or long-term relationship or a partnership, and that person could be scared of that or vice versa. Four of Cups is just feeling very sad and missing out on an opportunity. Um, you know, in the past, definitely somebody realizes um, that they missed out or they did something to 
drop the ball here, okay? And what's coming right behind that is the Page of Pentacles. There's an apology card. The Page of Pentacles is all about integrity, dignity, and honesty. It's also a card of studiousness and um, self-education, investing in oneself to grow and learn and mature, um, whether that's on a spiritual path or that's, you know, continued education. But it is a card that does indicate, you know, apologies. And when you have that mixed with the Seven of Swords here, there is something going on here where somebody needs to own up to their part in things and, um, you know, make an apology and, um, and have that be known. That Two of Wands is trying to make a decision about taking action on this uh, situation. Either somebody with the Six of Wands either really does want a victorious outcome with this, or you're dealing with somebody who is very much in their ego and on their high horse, and they're too egotistical to admit when they're wrong. And so that could be part of what played out here. The hanged man, so they're not doing anything, or they didn't do anything in the past. You could have been dealing with somebody that literally, between the hanged man and the seven of swords, turned into a cold fish and uh, just, you know, <laughs> just disappeared on you or laid limp and didn't do anything, but, you know, the stench of them was still stinking up the place because of this situation. Definitely wanting that wish fulfillment and happily ever after. But this can also be somebody, for some of you, if they're in denial between the hanged man, the seven of swords, and the nine of cups. Somebody who is kind of living off in la-la land or somebody who drinks a lot or is always kind of dr drowning their sorrows at the bar or the pub with their friends. Um, or this is just somebody who's always wanting to live in the honeymoon phase of relationships. They don't have the grit or what it takes to actually um, you know, be a, a good partner or to sustain or maintain a longer term relationship or even just a serious commitment or connection. This could be somebody that's a little bit flighty and they're always kind of bouncing around from, you know, um, bed to bed, basically. The sun, you know, the um, truth comes out, judgment. This, this is another card of seeking forgiveness. Um, and giving or receiving an apology and asking for a second chance. The Wheel of Fortune here, Wheels of Fate turning in the favor. When you have the Wheel of Fortune mixed with the Judgment card, this is absolutely an indication, uh, a double whammy indication of a past life connection, soulmate connection, Ace of Cups, divine timing coming in here, you know, spirit, God, universe, whatever you want to call it, bringing in this connection uh, at the right time on your soul's journey. Even if it was painful, even if this person, you know, did end up being a dud, you know, they got overwhelmed and scared by this energy and so they ran, you know, but you got that Ace of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant and then, you know, you have um, these other cards in here, you know, that were indicating, you um, um, destiny and um, soul contracts and things like that. Somebody who was running from a spiritual connection. So when you have this energy here, this is powerful energy, <laughs> powerful manifestation, powerful uh, romantic connection. Somebody clearly got scared here, um, you know, based on these cards and ran. Eight of Wands, things were happening really fast and they didn't know what to do. Eight of Cups and the Ten of Swords, here you go. So there was some kind of a sore ending between the two of you for sure. Um, whether you had a falling out and you guys haven't communicated in a while or seen each other in a while, um, or you know, you're still in communication but it's not the same, or so you, something happened between you that left a bad taste in your mouths, you haven't really totally talked about it, uh, or this, this can obviously just be indicating a true ending, something happened that brought about a true ending between you and you walked away from it. Um, you didn't stick around to try to fix it or beg or plead or wait around for this person. You just said, you know what? I'm not really interested in the bullshit that's accompanying this. Um, you know, you are proving to be the seven of swords, you know, get your shit together and then come back and talk to me. Um, Knight of Wands and Eight of Pentacles, there is, a, there is a desire to work it out and take action, but you know, how far will it really go? Again, tugging at the heart's strings tugging at the soul with the six of cups indicating um, a soulmate connection and or past life you got the six of swords moving on from a difficult situation after a very difficult and brutal ending so 
for a lot of you, this is a situation where you had a falling out with this person of some kind on some level. And for some of you, this is complete silence. Others of you, you're still kind of in each other's lives. You see each other, you know, but you're not really talking about the big pink elephant in the room. Maybe for some of you, you share children. So you have to kind of maintain, you know, the status quo. But, you know, again, it's really not being discussed. So something is going on along those lines. Um, or there's some kind of betrayal in this connection connection, especially with that 10 of swords on the bottom of the deck there, that can indicate betrayal where trust was broken, a vow was broken, a promise was broken, or somebody just simply did not follow through, you know, even on a, even on a um, newer relationship, even just the smaller things. All right. So interesting, the overall energy between the two of you is the Empress, which is really interesting uh, because the Empress is, you know, all the Queens rolled into one. I mean, the Empress is you know, like, like, um, I don't know, like, what am I trying to say that she, she surpasses all the Queens. You know what I'm saying? She's like, the Empress reminds me of, uh, Catherine Middleton, <laughs> the future queen of England. Um, you know, just the bee's knees. Um, I personally think so. Anyway, I, I love, um, Kate Middleton, but that's just me. Not everybody cares for the Royals or whatever, but I think that she's a true class act. And so, you know, nobody can hold a candle to that. Um, and so this is the energy between you. What this could indicate is that maybe there was a big expectation between the two of you that didn't get fulfilled, or maybe the energy between you is that you guys really can have a class act relationship type of thing tried and true, standing the test of time, um, you know, something that's real and legitimate, um, all that kind of stuff. But, but, you know, for some reason there was heartache and heartbreak and miscommunication. So we'll definitely clarify this to see what other message this means in terms of the overall energy. Could this mean that there's a third party floating around here? Yes. Could this mean that this third party got pregnant for some of you? Yes. Whether you are the third party that got pregnant or you were in a relationship where like if you're a female watching this, you are with a, you know, in a relationship with a man and he knocked up somebody else basically. So that's entirely possible, but that's not going to be the storyline for most of you. All right. This is how you see them, the three of cups. So this is really interesting because honestly, Virgo, you're not taking this person very seriously. You see them as somebody who wants to eat, drink, be merry, go out with their friends, have a good time, keep the relationship casual and light, come and go when they please. Um, and you know, play house with you when it fits them, but not really have to like show up and follow through when it really counts. So that's the first energy that I'm getting off of this. The other energy is that some of you Virgos could feel that your person is playing the field and has multiple lovers or is dating many people. Um, or there was a third party situation going on here and you feel that your person is still hung up on someone else. So there is three different possible scenarios with this. Um, we will clarify uh, and go from there. This is how they see you. So they see you, Virgo, as somebody who is withdrawn and quiet. You're keeping to yourself. You're, you know, it's like your head is down. You're doing your work. You're the hermit. You know, you've kind of fallen off the face of the earth where the majority of society is concerned, or at least where this person is concerned. You're being very quiet and just doing you right now. This is a card that is all about healing and rest, rest and healing, respite. So they feel that you are taking the time out from this relationship and or away from them to not only heal whatever wounds you sustained from them or from the falling out or from whatever happened, but also you are bettering yourself and you're moving on up beyond them. Uh, and it might be driving them crazy that you're so quiet and they really don't know what's going on in your life. So that'll be interesting to clarify. Um, the shadow side of this situation that is, you know, at play here in this connection, the shadow side, meaning something that's swirling around this relationship that's making it difficult is the King of Cups. So some of you could be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It doesn't have to be where, you know, they, they're just, um, uh, you know, the King of Cups always in a love reading is, is a, a, a king or a man who is in love. And it could be female because it's a, general reading but nonetheless the king of cups on the shadow side can have very difficult time 
or have a very difficult time expressing their emotions and communicating clearly. The King of Cups tends to feel very deeply, uh, but they're not very good at expressing it. And so therefore they can stuff it down or their ego gets in the way or it manifests in a negative way where they have emotional outbursts or they're just unstable. Uh, you know, one minute they're fine, the next minute they're blowing up at you, or one minute they're fine, and the next minute they're accusing you of something you didn't do, something along those lines, right? So just kind of this fickle back and forth energy um, where you can't, you don't really know where they're coming from all the time, and uh, you can't really, you know, pin them down. And I'm not saying that in terms of like commitment or um, trying to lock them into a long-term relationship. I'm saying pin them down as far as understanding what, what their true character is and what their true intentions are. So on the shadow side of the King of Cups, it can be somebody who is emotionally unstable, maybe mental illness for some of you, and somebody who struggles with addictions. Um, so, you know, that is, you know, the shadow side, that's what we're talking about here. Now, what this could be is that this is the third party, maybe Maybe you're in a relationship, Virgo. Maybe you're a female dating a man and there's another man that is circling around you that you're having relations with. So maybe there's some Virgos on my channel who you are the one who's having an affair. I just have to throw it out there to be fair, okay? Or Virgo, you're dealing with somebody who's having an affair on you. So that's entirely possible. Um, and, and this is this person, this third party that's lurking around is really causing uh, issues in this connection. So that could be going on here. Could this be like an extended family member or you know, a third party of some other relation? Yes, whether it's family or friends or acquaintances or coworkers, I don't know. But it could mean a, a third party of so something else some other type of relationship that's having an, an effect. Um, so that's entirely possible. Now I just got a hit, and this is probably only gonna be for like one or two of you, that some of you are dealing with a boss who's making advances towards you. Um, now, whether you're having an affair with a boss or not, you know, that's a different story, but I'm getting the feeling of a boss making advances, unwanted advances towards a, at least one Virgo watching this video. And, um, and your significant other is not taking kindly to this person. Some of you could even be dealing with somebody who's a little bit creepy or a little bit stalkerish. So write me in the, in the comments below and let me know if that resonates for you or somebody that you know. But I don't think that that's for the majority of you, all right? I really think for the majority of you watching this video, you're dealing with a King of Cups energy who is fickle, who's temperamental, who is difficult to communicate, who has emotional outbursts, and is just not reliable. So this will definitely be interesting to see how that clarifies. And then the outcome between you is the Queen of Swords. So that's really interesting. Could this be another you know, person in the mix? Yes, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, doesn't have to be. This could just be talking about the energy between you, the outcome, meaning somebody draws a serious boundary here and, you know, shoots straight from the hip, tells the other person exactly how it is, what it is, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what they will and won't put up with. These are my boundaries, respect them or there's the door. And so the outcome here could be just drawing a, a, a hard line in the sand, and putting this other person on notice or putting them in their place, okay? So where your person is at in their mind when it comes to you is the Three of Swords. Wow, Virgo, your, your person is definitely heartbroken and or mentally or emotionally tormented over this situation with you. What happened, what didn't happen, what should have happened, could have happened, but didn't, that kind of thing what was said or not said or should have been said, etc. I feel like this person is shooting all over themselves, um, you know, going over and over and over in their mind what happened between you, how they handled it, how they should have handled it better, and maybe, you know, what they did to lose you. And because um, I feel like for a lot of you, this person has either borderline lost you, they're about to lose you, or they already did. Uh, maybe for some of you, Virgos, you already drew that boundary and you walked away from them and you're giving them time to think about what they really want. Uh, you're also letting them know what kind of partner you need and you need to step up to the plate. If you can't step up to the plate, there's the door. So you might have given them an ultimatum saying, you know what, you need to really think about what it is that you want. Um, and if you're going to you know, stay in relationship with me, then, you know, you got to be this tall, right, to ride my ride. And if you're not that tall, then you're not getting on it. That's what I always used to say. And so this person, maybe they're not sure if they have what it takes to even 
be in relationship with you because again some of you could be dealing with somebody who is immature emotionally and psychologically they're not ready for a commitment even if they are an older person right a, a true adult they're not ready for what it really means to be a true partner you could be dealing with somebody who's just a, a player until the day they die um and you know and that's just part of their own soul growth but whatever's going on here there's definite heartache something happened between you where this person is really heartbroken now for a lot of you this person caused the problem and they're heartbroken over the problem that they caused and or over losing you in the process or tarnishing this relationship maybe even to the point of no return so that's interesting the other thing is on the flip side is that where they're at in their mind when it comes to you is that they know they broke your heart and this three of swords is your broken heart that they caused and it's weighing very heavily on their mind where they're at in their heart when it comes to you is the king of swords so they're very guarded first and foremost um and you know there could be ego involved here they don't want to admit that they were wrong they don't want to apologize or fickle in their emotions whatever the case may be you might be dealing with somebody who kind of grew cold um cold and distant towards you little to no communication difficult communication so that could be it on the shadow side they've drawn a boundary or their wall has come up and they're difficult to connect with. Now, on the light side of this card where they're at in their heart with you is that this person really does wanna be diplomatic. They wanna be fair. They want to uh, sit and listen to both sides objectively. Um, you know, this is a card that does talk about lawyers and judges, um, you know, somebody who gives a very fair, um, you know, unbiased opinion or, looks at things with the emotion out of it so this could be positive in terms of where they're at in their heart is they want to get real with you they want to you know put all their chips down on the table they want to show you all their shadowy sides and they want to tell you all their wounds and let you see their vulnerable side and just kind of shoot straight from the hip and let you know where the bear's going through the buckwheat what their intentions are who they are and what they um want to do so that's really positive you know if this is coming from the positive side of this card where they're at in their heart is that they want to shoot straight with you and like you know literally um get rid of all of the smoke and mirrors and the fun house and the circus and you know the wizard of oz mirage and las vegas fantasy right um and and like literally get rid of this bullshit and just get real get straight your person may have had some very sobering moments in their life since you guys had a falling out or you separated or you went your separate ways and so this person is growing up in your absence because of your absence that's what i'm feeling but where they're at in their soul which is really interesting because the soul has all the answers and they're blocked it's almost like it's you know the, the two of swords is definitely little to no communication and or confusion not having enough information where they're at in their soul when it comes to you is either their soul is not giving them information easily meaning they've got to be like a toddler learning how to walk and kind of fumble through this whole situation with you to figure it out on their own okay um, and the soul, the moon in the background is trying to give them clues, but you know, they're not like, you know, giving them all the answers to the test. So your person could be tested right now, or they've been tested on a soul level when it comes to you in this, this situation, this relationship, whatever, um, you know, and having to really develop their character and grow up in this life, um, and uh you know f make a decision on whether they want to actually follow through on being an adult or not you know but i am feeling like there is information being withheld from them on a soul level um, because there's something that they've got to like do themselves so that's really interesting i want to go ahead and just pop a few cards what we're going to do in the extended is i'm going to pull cards from this deck for every placement we're going to get extra um um clarifiers i'm going to pull some reversals we're going to open up the storyline and we're also going to get some um, extra oracles we might get pull some from the two decks sitting there that you can't see you know what is it that your person wants to say to you but i just want to get overall like you know what's the real storyline here um and we will definitely uncover that more in the extended why is the overall energy between virgo and their person the empress card 
Can you clarify the Empress card? What does this mean? You know, the Empress could also mean healing between you two. Maybe the overall energy between you and this person is a healing that's been coming in. Even if you two have not been actively working on healing this together because you're not communicating, this can be indicating that Spirit is bringing in the healing energy to heal both of you individually uh, so that when you come back together, you know, you're in a better place to communicate instead of maybe a volatile energy. So... Empress, can you please clarify the Empress? Please clarify the Empress. Pop a card, please. There we go. Ooh, Eight of Swords, self-imposed prison. That's really interesting. Self-imposed prison and no communication. So, you know, to me, and it, isn't it interesting that it's an angel in this... Um, you know, in this depiction, yes, she's blindfolded and her hands are tied, but she can easily undo all of that. Um, you know, so it's, it's just interesting because it's this, this to me is basically saying, and I'll clarify this more in the extended that, you know, spirit is bringing in healing energy to heal this situation. Oh, <laughs> just almost burned my finger there. Um, even, even in the silence. Okay. Why is the King of Cups here, please? Why is the shadow side of this situation the King of Cups? What does this have to do with or who? Can you please clarify the King of Cups? Please clarify the King of Cups. Oop. Let me try this again. Please clarify the King of Cups. What does this have to do with? Is this the person that Virgo is dealing with or is this the energy? Or is this a third party? Um, why is this the shadow side of this situation? King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups the shadow side? Please pop a card. I want it to pop out on its own, so. Can you please clarify this? If you don't pop a card, Spirit, I'm going to have to pull one. And you know I don't prefer to do that. Let's pop one, please. Sometimes it takes forever. Why is the King of Cups here? Can you please clarify the King of Cups? What does this have to do with? This one wants to come out. There you go, the Two of Swords. So this person, you know, for some of you, you are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. You're just dealing with somebody who is very blocked in their emotions. Two of Swords coming out to clarify the King of Cups and the Two of Swords is how they feel in their soul right now. This person is confused, I feel, and they don't have all of the answers or the information that they need. I am wondering for some of you, if you're dealing with somebody who fabricates information and or facts, they're making things up in their head that, that isn't true, um, or they're confused by the many stories that they tell themselves. I'm wondering if some of you are dealing with somebody who's a little bit mentally and emotionally unstable, or maybe borderline mental illness, or somebody that's kind of, you know, I don't know, maybe just a little bit twisted in their mind. Um, you know, that's entirely possible, but this person, they're very, they're, they're just blinded by their own emotions or they're confused. I'm feeling a lot of confusion. You're dealing with somebody who's confused. That's what it feels like to me. And they just don't know what they think or what they feel or what they want. I feel like you're dealing with somebody, like I say, who's fickle. They're not totally reliable. They want to try to be like if this is a man, you know, it's a man who says, I want to be reliable and dependable. I want to be a provider and a protector. I want to be there for my family when they need me. But, you know, when the going gets tough, this person just disappears and they leave their family hanging. They don't treat their, you know, their significant other well. They're not like an upstanding guy who, you know, has a lot of pride and um, his handshake is as good as his word and you know, the tried and true. Like this is somebody who they talk a lot, you know, a good game, but when it comes to actually following through, they're just a huge coward and they run and hide. Um, you know, little boy energy is what I'm feeling here. So we have the six of cups that came out and the, um, this is the empress. Oh my God, Virgo. We have the empress here for the overall energy between you. 
Okay, I feel like a lot of you are dealing, and then that Six of Cups is definitely indicating uh, past life connection, soulmate connection, karmic tie, cycle, unfinished business from a previous incarnation, somebody from your past, somebody that you've known for a while, um, or the situation's been going on for a while, but definitely that Six of Cups is, they're still hung up on you. And so I feel like this person, they're either blocked in their emotions, they're blind to their emotions, they're having a lot of emotions about you, but they can't articulate them or they cannot make sense of them. Um, this Empress energy is swirling around. For a lot of you Virgos, you are the Empress. This person knows it. I'm feeling like for a lot of you, you're dealing with somebody who feels like you're out of their league, they don't measure up. And so, you know, here we are. It's like the Empress energy is here. This person doesn't know what to do, but they do know deep down on a soul level, even though they're in denial about it, that there is a soulmate connection here and or a, um, um, a destined uh, relationship or experience that's meant to happen. And this person is like denying it, rejecting it, pushing it away, something along those lines. Can you please clarify the two of swords in their soul? Why is this, how they, where they stand with Virgo in their soul is the two of swords. Why is that? The soul has all of the answers and already knows your future. Why is it that, you know, this person is blind to um, this? Maybe they're just not connected to their soul. They don't pay attention to the nudges and messages from their soul. I don't know. Or the soul is intentionally not showing them so that they learn on their own. Can you please clarify the two of swords? Let's clarify the two of swords. Why is this the case in terms of this person, where they're at in their soul when it comes to Virgo? Two of swords, please. Can you please pop a card? We don't need this to take forever, Spirit. We gotta go. We're, we're at you know 31 minutes plus already. This is getting too long. Okay. There's what? Oh, I thought a bunch of cards flipped over. Can you please clarify the two of swords? I'll have to pick a card if you don't. Pop one out, please. What does this mean? There, we'll take this one. Queen of Swords, and this one wants to come out. Seven of Swords. Well, didn't we have the Seven of Swords somewhere? Oh, no, we didn't. I thought we did. Well, I was feeling the Seven of Swords energy. That's what it was. So the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Swords, you know, I, I feel like they're intimidated by you. And, you know, I keep saying that because it's like, it's like they're blind to their own soul. And then the Seven of Swords is that lie, cheat, steal, you know, manipulation, shady, player energy, up and leaves in the middle of the night because they can't handle a straight shooter. I feel like Virgo, you know, I feel like you and here you are, Queen of Swords is the outcome, right? Uh, so this energy is here. And I feel like this person that you're dealing with, Virgo, can't handle the truth. That's what I'm getting. You can't handle the truth, like Jack Nicholson and a few good men. Um, it's too much for them, especially if you're dealing with a king of cups. If you are dealing with a water sign, especially a Pisces, when a Pisces uh, is, you know, in unstable territory, um, you know, they, they don't do well with the truth at all. Um, and so, you know, there, it's like there's an int intimidation factor here because, you know, Virgo uh, will make, make, make them toe the line. Virgo will make anybody toe the line. Virgo is not putting up with shenanigans, fuckery, and, and bullshit, basically. Um, and they're certainly not going to do it, you know, uh, in, in a romantic relationship. So if this person is wishy-washy and too difficult and just, you know, like you, they don't know whether it's raining or freezing outside, right? Um, and, and Virgo doesn't have patience for that. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have patience for people like that. Um, um, you know, we do if we know that there's a diagnosed mental illness or something, but people who are just kind of flighty and flaky and all over the place, but seemingly, you know, um, functioning in society, we don't, we just don't have patience for that. 
So there's something going on here, I feel, where this person is blinded to their own truth, to the truth of this connection, and or to they're intimidated by Virgo um, making them toe the line or ca calling a spade a spade, setting down boundaries. I don't feel that this person does well with boundaries, especially if they're in the shadow side of the King of Cups. Um, you know, th they're probably, uh, you know, shadow side of King of Cups is somebody who is overindulgent all of the time. Um, and learning boundaries and learning self-preservation and, um, and moderation is a, is a difficult lesson for somebody like that. So I'm feeling that there's a couple of things going on here. You know, this person, you know, they're blind to their soul. They're not getting the information that they need or they're, or they're deaf to it. And their soul is trying to give them, you know, the information and they're deaf to it. Um, this is somebody again who's not reliable. We've got this energy right in the center, and this is the this is the outcome. Okay, two Queen of Swords cards here. So it just to me, I'm getting this strong uh, feeling that this person can't handle the truth. They don't like the truth. They don't like being called out um, on their um, immaturity or their um, their you know shenanigans. Uh, in fuckery, um, they don't they don't like that at all. This is a person that does not want to stand up and be fully accountable and responsible. Um, or you know, this isn't somebody that you can rely on when the chips are down or in a long term partnership. You know, let's say you were sick in the hospital. Would this person show up and you know hold your hand or sit next to your bedside, or would this person be out partying and saying, "Well, it sucks for Virgo." I don't have time for that. Um, I don't care enough to go and sit with them, you know, whatever. Hope they pull through it, but I'm going to go do what I want to do. You know, are you dealing with somebody who's immature, um, who doesn't understand what it means to be in a true partnership and, and wouldn't truly be there if you needed them, whether you were in the hospital or you were broken down in the side of the road or you were being assaulted by someone or whatever, or somebody, you know, who, who's not, who doesn't have the children's best interest at heart or isn't a leader in the family unit, doesn't look, doesn't protect the children or provide well, um, you know, dealing with somebody who's flaky, basically dealing with a grown adult who is basically just a child on the inside. So that's really interesting. So Virgo, what we're going to do, I'm going to put these cards away. Um, the clarifiers that I just pulled, I'm going to put them back in the deck. I'm going to reshuffle the deck. I'm going to split it, split it, pull from the top two cards for each placement. We're going to pull these extra clarifiers from the small deck and reversals. We're going to open up the storyline and see what's really going on with your person. And then from there, we'll, we'll go into the oracles. So if you'd like to join me for the extended, that link is provided below. Thank you so much. Uh, and the rest of you will see you back here next time. Bye.